how to keep your lower leg stable in rising trot. This is a question that has come up so many times in my videos. What could make your lower leg be unstable or swing in rising trot? Well, the first thing is that we need to be in balance. If you're not in balance, then definitely there's going to be some excessive movement and uh, that might cause your leg to be unstable. So when we are doing the rising trot, we want our leg under our center of mass. So if my leg is too much forward or too much back, then I'm not in balance and then that might cause my lower leg to move too much. Now, another thing might be that you might be squeezing, for example, with the knee, and that might also cause your lower leg to be unstable. So you want, definitely want to have contact uh, with your thigh and with your knee, uh, with the saddle, but you don't want to squeeze. Then, yet another thing is, you need to check that if is the horse moving forward. So if the horse is not moving freely forward, you might be getting into this kind of vicious circle where you're kind of pushing the horse forward all the time and every step. And that might also make your lower leg unstable. When we are doing the rising trot and when also just when we're riding, we need quite a lot of tone in our muscles to stabilize our leg and our body. So we want to have that stability in our body. So we need to have some tone in our muscles to be able to stabilize ourselves. If we are too relaxed, then definitely there's going to be too much movement also. Now, here's a great exercise to improve your lower leg stability and also your balance. So you're going to need some kind of step, so it could be like a stair. And then you just go on the stair and then so you have a stair under the ball of your foot, so like you would have the stirrup on. And now what could happen in rising trot is that if your if the muscles around your ankle are not supporting your leg enough, then the, it might cause this kind of movement. So that could also definitely make your lower leg unstable. So you need quite a lot of, a lot of tone and support in your muscles. Of course, this is not exactly the same situation as if I would be on the horse, because then part of my weight is also supported by the saddle. So now I really need quite a lot of tone in my muscles. But this is a great exercise because here you really need to find your balance and you need to find that support in your muscles. And you could also try and make a rising trot movement here. This is already quite difficult. So the movement will come from my hips. So I'm not going to do this up and down movement. This is actually one thing that also could cause your leg to be unstable. So the movement comes from, comes from my hip joint. So, I hope this was helpful for you.